First Sergeant Kep here with Company D, 2nd United States Sharpshooters, and thanks for joining us for another dog tent setup video. Today I want to show you a couple more options that Civil War soldiers would use to set up their tents on the quick with minimal tools and resources. As you can see here, we have a pair of Sharps rifles with their bayonets attached, driven into the ground with a guy line in between them providing a, a ridge pole. So in just a matter of minutes, a pair of soldiers and a little bit of rope could have their shelter set up, throw in some field made or uh, found tent stakes, and the soldiers are good to go. Now for the Sharps rifles, yeah, there's a, a few variants to consider if you want to try this setup. Uh, for example, with a Springfield and an Enfield, they're going to have a fixed trigger guard, uh, whereas in the Sharps rifle, the trigger guard, I guess you, want, you could call it, uh, will actually drop the block. So it doesn't provide as secure of a hitching location um, as you would for a Springfield, for example. So we essentially just wrap our rope around the uh, uh, lock assembly, and that seems to work pretty good for us. Now this may or may not be a reasonable uh, option for you, during, you know, in your events, um, because your rifle's kind of tied up for the weekend, uh, unless you are in a position where you can comfortably set up and drop your tent um, quickly. Um, in this case, we just have um, a wagon hitch or a trucker's hitch holding this rope tight. Um, and we only do this for demonstrations. So a Sharps rifle is going to cost you $900 to $1,500. It's not something we want to leave out in the elements or leave unattended and just kind of have a fixture uh, of camp. And the other thing, unlike uh, Springfields and Enfields, each bayonet for a Sharps rifle has to be rather painstakingly custom fit to a particular Sharps rifle. So we try to avoid the excessive wear and tear that you would have on a bayonet. And you may also have a first sergeant that you have to deal with that wants everything spit polished and ready to go. So if you do this, you may need to factor in a little bit more time to dress up and clean up your rifle for that morning inspection. Now, you see this most often used by campaigners because they have their knapsack is their home. So they are able to set up and break down camp every morning and set it up again at night very easily. And so this becomes a very viable option. If you have a lot of gear and a lot of boxes and you need to have more of a permanent camp, this may not be the best option for you. But we are going to show you another way to set up with just a pair of rifles and a shelter half. Stay with us. Welcome back, and this is our second shelter tent configuration. Again, we have just half of a tent that a soldier would have been issued. Uh, in between two rifles on their bayonets, we have a just a quarter inch hemp rope for a ridge line that we uh, wove through the buttonholes and wrapped around the rifles. And we uh, pinched a little piece of the tent corner into the hammer of the rifle. Uh, for a little extra stability, you may seriously want to consider, you know, pulling out a guy line on each of these rifles to make it a little more stable. But for a, just a, a quick, dirty shelter at the end of a long march, this is going to be a really good way to get yourself out of the weather and out of the sun for a few hours with you and your battle buddy. So thanks so much for liking and commenting. Thanks for being sure to click that notification bell to get updates of all of our future videos. And we'll see you next time.